Oh, and that leads me right into what is your favorite quilting technique? Is it scrappy? Well, it's scrappy. It's scrappy. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I love that. I um, I actually start my morning um, every morning. Um, you know, we've always all got our morning rituals. Mm -hmm. You know, I get up, I have my shower, I have my cup of tea, and then I sit for fifteen minutes at my machine doing um, crumb quilting. You know, where you get all the little bits and you put them together, and then once I've done that, then I turn them into. Uh, I just cut them into six and a half inch squares. And I just store them. And what it is, it's so relaxing. It's lovely. It's fun. And uh, I thought I would show you here. I've done this quilt. And it's got those squares in them, which are just made of all crumbs. I love that. Yeah. So, and then I just put borders around it. Mm -hmm. So they're just all little scraps. So they're not big enough to cut into anything else. You know, they might only be a couple of inches and that. But I just join them together, cut a square. And, um, and I love, just love that. Yeah. But because they're done in the square with solid borders around it, it doesn't look so much like a scrappy quilt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It looks very intentional. It does look intentional. Um, and... You know, it's not, it's not, it's just really those, it's probably more intentional because I knew I was putting it with the pink and the white, um, that there's no um, reds or yellows, those sort of colours in. But like I said to you, I sort of don't really buy those colours anyway. You know, it's not my palette. I love that. I think that is great. I might actually try that. Yeah, do that and then just do a little pile and then, do something, it's lovely. When you do that, because um, they are the crumbs, I always do them and then I get a really soft interfacing mm -hmm. and I iron it. it it's an interfacing called Whisper Weft, which is really soft and malleable. And um, and then that gives it strength. So when if you have to wash it over and over again, it's not going to come apart. That's a good idea. Yeah. And it keeps your edges from fraying, I imagine? Yes. You have them for a while. Yes. So, um, I, you know, it's just a, a really good way of, I think that once that square's done and it's fused, then um, it goes in a little pile and whenever I'm ready to do something with that, they're ready to go, um, which is something. I love that. I love it. <laughs> do it, Tori. Do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to show you. I'll send you pictures. Ooh.